Welcome to this short um, video on the topic of break-even analysis. Um, in this case we're going to use Excel the spreadsheet just to show how you can model uh, break-even analysis using uh, spreadsheets. It's a very short class and I'll just put the cursor on so uh, we'll nip across to the first sheet. The first sheet we've got here is um, this one. We've got the quantity down the left hand side. We'll assume that the price is fixed at 5 and that means we have a sales revenue here. The sales revenue is just the product of price and quantity. So 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15 and so on and so on. And over here we've got a little uh, chart. On Excel it's easy to do this. You just click on charts, add a chart. In this case it's a line chart and I've drawn the two um, variables. So I've got um, the price which is fixed along here and the sales revenue which goes up in a straight line there. So that's done automatically. In fact if I varied any of those now, if I just arbitrarily decided that the price of the sixth unit was 9, you'll see immediately it's reflected in the chart. There you go, it's uh, just here. Um, no need for that, but it does give flexibility if you're making a more sophisticated uh, break-even chart you can you can vary some of the uh, the numbers. Now if we add in the, the fixed costs we'll assume the fixed costs in this particular business is 30 so we've got the quantity, the price, the sales revenue, now we've got the fixed cost as 30 and that's represented by this horizontal line it's horizontal because it's a constant. It's 30, so it's 30 all the way across. Now if we add in the variable cost, well we'll say it costs 2 to make each item of production, so 2 pounds, 2 euros, 2 dollars, whatever it is. So we have 2 down here and you can't really see it very clearly but there is a line almost along the axis but just above the axis which represents the two. The scale is not very good but it is there. Um, it's probably best when you're viewing this to view it in um, full screen mode so you'll see all of it. Now the total cost over here, well the total cost is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable cost. Well, The variable cost per unit is 2, we make one of them so it's 30 plus 2 which is 32. Over here we make 2 and we make 2 of them, quantity is 2, take it across, it takes, it costs 2 two pounds, two dollars, whatever it is, to make each one, so it's four, so thirty plus four is thirty-four. Um, so we continue to do this. Um, in the case of a, a spreadsheet you can just simply drag the columns down. So down here uh, we've got our little formula. We've got the price times quantity, which is the revenue, that's the sales revenue, is equal to the fixed cost plus the number of units of output times the variable cost. So we've got 5Q, you see price is a constant here, 5, so the P is a 5, 5Q, five, 5 times this column here is equal to the fixed cost, which is of course equal to 30, plus, the, quant plus um, the quantity times the variable cost which is in this case 2 times the quantity because each unit of output costs 2 so it's twice the, the quantity. Now what that means is we've got 5q is equal to 30 plus 2q. 
We'll take the 2q from this side of the equation, take it across here, we get 3q over here. 3q is equal to 30. And solving, q is equal to 10. If we go back to our um, graph here, if we were to find 10, it's not very clear, but 10 is about there, and move it up, it's the break even. That's the break even there. So you can make this, of course, much larger. You can make the the uh, the break-even chart much bigger. It's useful for inserting into assignments and into projects. Um, it shows how to derive a break-even chart, um, and it's an easy way of of seeing how break-even analysis works. Okay, that's all we need to do with this one. A very simple exercise. Thank you for watching.